We are in the engine compartment of a 1969 Chevelle, an SS style car. It is not an SS. We don't have any documentation to prove it one way or the other, whether it is or it isn't. I'm going to say it isn't. Um, it does have a small block. It's a 350. Uh, it has a GM LT1 style aluminum intake manifold on it. It does have a dual feed Holly carburetor. Vacuum secondary, it's not a double pumper. 14-inch uh, uh, GM style air cleaner with it. The engine is a newer 350 with the uh, bolt-on uh, valve pan covers through the uh, center. So it's probably a 91 up motor in a 350. It has a set of real nice high-end ceramic coated headers on it. Uh, they're a medium length tube, I'm going to say inch and five-eighths diameter. The transition into what appears to be about a three-inch uh, long, long tube uh, collector, which we'll see a better uh, point when it's, once we get it up in the air and do an undercarriage presentation on it. But that's what I can see from up here. It has a real nice set of um, high silicone wires on it. Absolutely new power brake uh, booster on it. New master cylinder, dual stage, stainless wrapped heater hoses and um, radiator hoses on the car also. New alternator, um, a newer style Optima battery in it. Someone's just put a new uh, fuel filter on it. The oil's been just changed in it, I do know that. The motor's been refreshed and uh, you can see everything's been apart. The um, um, timing chain cover is also chrome to match the valve pan covers and the air cleaner. So it does have some chrome appointments as the uh, uh, radiator hold down on the top is also chromed on this. The uh, uh, fender wells on the inside are the semi-flat black just the way they should be from the factory. Like I said, power steering and power brakes on this particular car. It has a real high capacity, uh, high flow GM radiator that would be, uh, it looks like it would be for a big block Chevy instead of a small block, but it is a high capacity radiator. Uh, it's a real nice clean engine compartment. There are absolutely no leaks evident whatsoever around the intake manifold on the back. A uh, new distributor also, a uh, new HEI uh, style distributor in the car. No leaks around the valve pan covers or timing chain. Any of the uh, hoses are not leaking uh, either on the uh, power steering assembly. Real nice clean, clean engine compartment on this vehicle. I'm sure it makes some substantial horsepower. It's going to be in that 350 horsepower range. So it's going to motivate the car just as fast as you want to go with it. Uh, nice clean engine compartment. Let's do the outside and see what we can show you there. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And today our guest on the floor is a 1969 Chevelle. It appears to be a SS car with the hood and the appointments and everything. Um, it is not. It is a small block. Malibu in SS dress, so it, it's pretty difficult to tell without really checking in uh, to the serial numbers and uh, the engine, uh, the drive line itself, but the car presents itself as an SS when you first look at it. Great car at a great price, so we'll go over it together and see what kind of deficiencies we can find. Paint on a car is really nice, um, does have the double bulge. Uh, uh, 68, 69 SS style hood. The chrome on the uh, louvers, which is usually deteriorated, these are absolutely brand new. The fitment of the hood is very nice on this side. <coughs> you can see that the uh, gap is real, real straight the whole way across it. About the same on this side, the same way. This is up just a little bit. I'm going to have to take this stopper, turn it down so that the bottom of the uh, Stopper is a little lower, and uh, this, this goes down a little bit. It's a little higher than it should be. A fitment problem that's on us, so not a problem. We'll do it. Front part of the car, the headlight basils, all like brand new. All your anodized aluminum around the grill. Just as sweet as could possibly be. If this were an SS car, this should be changed to an SS uh, uh, badge instead of uh, the uh, bow tie. Same thing with the uh, trim around the uh, headlights on the uh, driver's side. Um, bumper fitment. 
that's as nice as you're ever going to get one of these to fit. That thing really fits well. It, it cannot be any more precise a fit for a 69, 68 uh, uh, Chevelle. Nice clear lenses for the uh, parking lights. Chrome on the front bumper is absolutely exemplary. There's no dings or chips or marks or um, brush marks or anything on it. It looks like it's a absolutely freshly chrome, uh, high quality bumper on the front of it. The front end of the car is stunning. The paint is very, very nice on the car. The fit, the hood, except for this needing to go down here, is just spot on. Let's see what we got on the driver's side. Okay, driver's side of our 1969 Chevelle. Side marker lamp, really, really nice. The trim around it is nice and patina free. It's very, very nice. Fender lip molding on the front. No dingers or marks, absolutely brand spanking new. SS designation on the side. The fit of the door to the front fender to the rocker panel. Um, very nice. I mean, there's really no way that you can get it to fit much nicer than it does. Uh, really great condition. Tin windshield, obviously. It has correct wiper arms and the blades. They are correct for this car. Um, the windshield where it transitions on to the dashboard is nice and clean and well kept. I'm going to guess this thing had a new windshield put in it. There's not any wiper marks or, or, or chips or anything in it. It's absolutely as new. And that's probably when they cleaned the uh, dash and made it uh, look like the day it was uh, built. Vinyl top, obviously. We'll go over this real quick. There's no uh, bubbling, no parts that aren't glued into place. The top itself, the vinyl top on this side is absolutely beautiful. Uh, no uh, issues whatsoever. Drip rail molding, same way. It's as nice as you're ever going to find. The whisker wipes are nice and resilient, just like they would be new. I don't know if they are new, but certainly they don't need replaced. Fitment is real nice where the uh, stainless bead goes on to the uh, finish on the outside. GM uh, bow tie mirror, driver's side. Paint on the door is very, very nice. New door handles, absolutely brand new. And again, look at the fit on this guy. You cannot get much better than that. Eh, a couple little, I don't know what they are. They appear to be light scratches that are in the paint. You really have to look to see them. Um, certainly wouldn't designate that we would, or you, or anyone, would completely refinish this quarter panel to fix this. It's almost not there, but it is. If you really look at the right light, you'll see it like some scratches. Possibly somebody had a jacket with a zipper or something that came up across it. I don't know if they'll rub out or not. We'll give it an attempt and see what, uh, see what we can do with it. Quarter panel. Wheel lip molding is absolutely flawless, just like the front. Trim around the base of the uh, and the cell panel on the uh, top is absolutely flawless. Trim around the uh, rear window is no marks, no dings whatsoever. You know what? Let's look at the front. Yeah, same way. No dings, no marks whatsoever. Front or back. Half shelf, uh, real nice condition. It's all nice and black. Has two aftermarket speakers in it. Um, looks like tinted glass in this car front and back. I don't know what the size of those are, but front and back lights appear to be tinted. Again, paint on this quarter panel, side marker lamp, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. The side of this car is laser straight. It's just a very, very nice car. Um, the only thing I've found so far is those two little uh, issues that really aren't issues. Uh, does have a set of torque thrust style 17 inch wheels on it. Uh, they're chrome. Give it a real nice pop to it, a real nice look to the car. Nice stance with it, a lot bigger rubber on it than it came with. 
Uh, it's just a nice, nice driver quality Chevelle. Let's see what's up back. Okay, the back end of our 69 Chevelle. And this is really, really nice. The, the fitment of this rear deck, the gaps are just like they were on the hood up front. Just really, really nice. The paint again, very, very nice finish on the car. Apparently it has a uh, power antenna. Basils around the uh, tail light assemblies and the lenses themselves are absolutely new. Same as on the driver's side. This is correct me in black through here. Again, it should have SS here if you really wanted to make it look like a complete SS car with no one being able to tell. You could replace the front and the back um, bow ties with SS designation. Rear bumper, just like the front one, it's about spot on. You could not get it to fit much better than that. that that's as straight and as nice as you're ever going to find. Um, just the turn downs in the back, we had a complete new exhaust system installed on this car front to back. So you have ceramic headers and a new system the whole way back, which you'll see in our undercarriage uh, uh, presentation. Back end of this car is spot on. Uh, the fitment of the bumpers, the, the appointments, uh, all the chrome, uh, everything appears to be absolutely new, just like the front. The grill area, the front bumper, all your, uh, your basils around the headlights, the back end is exactly the same way. Great looking car. A lot of quality to it. A little tiny dinghy here. I don't even know how you'd, well, you got to really look to see it, but it is there. Let's see what's on the other side, then we're done with the presentation outside of the car. All right, passenger side of our nice red Chevelle. Uh, side marker light, same way as the other ones, really, really nice condition. One thing I forgot to mention, all tin on this car, too. It's not like it's bonded up or anything, and the other side I know is the same way. I did look at it previously. Uh, something shifted in the trunk, boing, and put a dinghy right here. Someone's brush touched it. Uh, certainly nothing that you would... Uh, Again, you got to really look for that guy, but it's there. There's a little ding from something in the trunk shifting over, probably the jack. Quarter panel, trim around the wheel well. That's as nice as you're going to find. Again, the trim around the base of the... Uh, and also, this is just as tight as can possibly be, the vinyl on this top. There's no place where it's uh, starting to... Um, break loose or any bubbles or anything underneath the vinyl top, which is common on a lot of these cars. This car has none. Zero. Drip molding, same as the other side, just absolutely new. Quarter panel to the door, real nice fitment. Again, a new door handle on this side, wipes and whiskers. Just like the other side, just as new as can be. I neglected to mention the uh, the rubber seal, the other side and this side, is absolutely as it was when it was new. I'm sure it's been replaced through the years. It's nice and resilient and soft. No chunks or little marks on it or anything. Just as nice as it could possibly be. Door on it. Paint's absolutely beautiful. Again, look at the fitment of this thing. It's totally amazing. Yeah. You know what? Back of this hood might have to drop down just a hair too. That guy's up just a little bit and so is this one. I don't know how they did that. This hinge has to be dropped down a little bit. I didn't notice it when I was doing it up front, but I can see it here now. Another issue for us to address. SS designation. Again, the molding on the front is as nice as you'd ever want to have. Back up where we started. Just as nice a uh, the vehicles you could have. 1969 Chevelle. Um, 68s and 69s have a gathering of people that, uh, that like them better than 66s and 7s and better than 70s, 71s. Uh, everyone likes something different. That's why they made them. Uh, it has a great look to it, a great finish, a great uh, presentation. Um, it is not a high-end, high-quality uh, vehicle as far as paint and finish goes. It, it, it's better than driver quality. It's better than most cars that you'll see at car shows, but it is not a, a show car by any uh, means of the imagination. 
does have a great set of wheels on it, torque thrust style chromes. Uh, it's got discs in the front, it's got an SS hood, it looks just like an SS, except for the two badges front and rear. Uh, bucket seat interior, red and black, it doesn't get much better than that. Uh, the fit on this car is really, really nice. A couple little spots we have to address and that's it. And a couple little tiny marks in the paint and that's all that you have on this vehicle. We went over it together. Uh, it's the first time I actually went over it. I did drive the car. The car drives spot on. Um, it's a nice car. You're going to be really amazed at what you can buy this car for here at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's a very good investment for the amount of money that you can buy this for. Well, we're in our 1969 Chevelle. Beautiful car. Red, black top, black end, buckets, console, power steering, power brakes. A lot of fun car. Uh, Headliner doesn't have any sags whatsoever in it. Really, really great condition. You can see the uh, the dome light also works in it. Rear view mirror doesn't have any milkiness or fading to it whatsoever. And it is the original mirror for the car, too. Uh, original sun visors. Um, dashboard doesn't have any cracks or any distortion whatsoever to it. It's still soft and resilient the way it was from the factory. The dashboard itself, everything appears to be original condition and as it was in 1969. It has a speedometer, it has a fuel gauge, and a trio of uh, idiot lights, but it does have an oil pressure gauge and a water temperature gauge and a tachometer, all that function. So uh, you have all your instrumentation with the car, even though it didn't come with it from the factory, it's been added. Uh, does have an aftermarket uh, high-end Sony radio in it with rear speakers to match. Console with the staple shifter that everyone likes to have. Um, just a really great looking uh, car inside. Uh, side panels in the back are absolutely like new. Hey, there's ashtrays in them. How about that? And the front panels are the same way. There's no marks or no... Uh, a little tiny, tiny mark here. It's just a smudge. I don't know what it is, but I have to wipe that off. Aftermarket steering wheel, uh, tri-spoke. It adds a lot of look to the car instead of just a standard plastic one. The rear seats <coughs> and the front seats match the way they should with their basket weave inserts down through the center. These are the original headrests. Really, really nice uh, set of original headrests on it. They're not cracked up or broken like most of them are. They are starting to get a little hard through the years, but they're there. Seat belts, rear, front, and shoulder belts, which is really an oddity in these cars. Most of these cars don't have, we're lucky when we have front seat belts, let alone shoulder belts, front belts, and the rear seat belts. Uh, carpeting's nice and black. It doesn't look like it has any uh, uh, grayness to it. It doesn't need anything dyed on it. All the original knobs on the dash and all, all the, uh, um, for your cold air inlets for the Astro ventilation. The knobs there are all nice and clear. So are the window cranks and the door openers. Chrome on them is very nice. The interior of this car is really exemplary. It's a very, very nice car. There's no cracks or marks in the seat anywhere. Again, the console just looks like the day it was made. Um, I don't see anything at all that's a negative in this car. Absolutely none. Again, even the door panels on the bottom where they usually start to wear uh, through the years. This car has none of that. And all the uh, rubbers have been replaced. They're nice, resilient rubbers. Uh, it's a nice car. Uh, you definitely have to take a look at it on your Hangster's uh, website. We have this one and quite a few other ones that uh, uh, we have available uh, in this 68 to 69 uh, model year run. Uh, we try to present these cars as well as we possibly can. Uh, we try to pick out every imperfection in the uh, uh, presentations that we do, undercarriage, uh, drive, everything. If there's an issue, you can see I point out every little tiny thing that I can see. If I miss something, I, you know, I, I try not to, but if I do, or if you see something that you have a question on, please give us a call. We can get you a high resolution photo of it or a video more extensive than uh, what we show um, with the drive video or our presentation videos uh, and send it to you specifically in that area. Uh, so just take a look at Hanksters, Daytona, Florida. We've got a bunch of cars here that are all knockouts. Ah, oil pressure gauge.
uh, hold the real nice 50 some pounds 50 pounds of oil pressure temperature just starting to come up we just started it here a while back so we're up to about 160 degrees uh, tachometer is working the wipers are working they function just like they should okay turn signal left is functioning turn signal right is functioning horn is working uh, radio I'm gonna assume it works I don't know uh, nice car power steering power brakes let's go for a ride see how it runs right. nice and straight speed all is functioning as it should uh, gas gauge is down on empty which isn't surprising for us car runs straight and true let me get on the straight over here I'll let go with my hands so you can see okay there we are now hands going down the road oh, I'm gonna go this way now we're going straight straight brakes no hands stops just as straight and nice as can possibly be no hands on the wheel Cold blooded here. Nice tight steering car, very, very tight. Very precise steering on it. No rattles, no shakes, no wind noise from the uh, around the windows, around the seals on it or anything. I don't see anything at all that's a miss on this thing. running car pulls well shifts nicely tracks as nice as you'd ever want one a yeah, really great running car goes as straight as could be again there's no wind noise or anything from uh, the leakage around the windows all the seals are nice the interior is gorgeous in the car I don't see anything. All the gauges are functioning as they should. We're up to about 175 degrees temperature. And we're still at our 50 pounds of oil pressure. Uh, we're good. This thing is a nice straight line car. Everything in it works. Hi, we're underneath our 1969 Chevelle. It looks like an SS car, but it isn't. Brand new shocks in the front. Absolutely brand new calipers, rotors, and backing plates. New hardware. Uh, let's see. A set of medium length ceramic coated headers that go into three inch collectors that transition into two and a half inch pipes uh, going toward the rear. The uh, subframes in the front, the box channel frames are just as nice as can be. Going on to the C-channel frames on the side, original brake lines, uh, original parking brakes still up and functional. Original fuel lines also uh, with the vehicle. <clears throat> this particular one is a 350 uh, gear reduction starter, absolutely brand spanking new. Uh, the original cooling line still intact and uh, going up toward the uh, radiator. As you can see, the oil pan, absolutely no drips. Uh, oil seepage whatsoever, none. Same with the bell housing area and the transmission pan. Uh, turbo tranny in it. The uh, four pans on this are the original four pans on this car. I don't see anywhere that have been addressed anything that's been replaced on this car structurally. There's absolutely nothing. Uh, the uh, bracing underneath the floors is all nice. No one's made any attempt to jack it up on there with uh, a floor jack through the years. The um, transmission in the rear has absolutely no leaks whatsoever. Uh, newer U-joint in it. 
Oh, this is a very nice car underneath. Undercarriage is very clean and very nice on this car, and original too. It's not some uh, uh, vehicle that's been uh, completely refurbished. It didn't need to be. Has a lot of originality under here. Original drive shaft also with it. Um, the C channel frames sections going back to the box channel in the rear. I don't even see any jack marks on them. Yeah, there is. There's one there. There's another one there where they're curved up just a hair from a jack being under them or a jack stand through the years. Other than that, this car is just as straight and original underneath as you'd ever hope to find. Again, we used uh, stainless this time instead of uh, regular uh, galvanized, but this is stainless pipe going into two turbo style uh, mufflers under chassis, of course. And um, brand new, we just had that uh, installed on the vehicle. A uh, new speedometer cable, so there's no jumping whatsoever on a speedometer. Uh, this car is as nice a vehicle as you're ever going to find. I don't see anything at all. But there's no leaks whatsoever on a transmission or the engine. New fuel pump, new fuel filters. There must be no time at all in this engine. The uh, headers don't even have any discoloration to them up top or even down here. Uh, very, very nice car. We're halfway through it and there's not a, a single mark that I can point on under the undercarriage of this vehicle. Let's see what's on the other half and then we're done with it. Okay, second half, 1969 Chevelle. Uh, as you can see again, turbo mufflers, uh, absolutely brand new. Uh, swing arms for the rear suspension, uh, new bushings in them, and uh, front and rear. Wow. And uh, absolutely no distortion, no twist whatsoever to them. Uh, usually you see something through usage through the years, but this has absolutely none. It does have a set of air shocks, newer air shocks in the rear. The car has a nice uh, stance to it also. The springs in the front aren't sagged at all, nor are the ones in the rear. It does have the original gas tank that came with this vehicle. Uh, as you can see, stainless pipes out the back. I'm going to call them, these are two and a half, so I'm going to call these two and a quarters. They look, uh, uh, they look like a set of two and a quarters to me. There are no tips on them. They transition down, uh, a little turn down on the back that would have been very similar to what would have been in 1969. It does have a 10-bolt uh, heavy-duty Chevy rear end in it. The uh, quarter panels, the drop-downs are just as new as they were in 1969. They have not been replaced, nor do they need to be. Uh, the substructure frames, your box channel frames that go into the uh, C channel again in the back. Again, there's no jack marks on them, no bends, no twists, nothing. And the bar that goes across the back that uh, holds the two C channels together. I don't see any bends or twists or anything on it. Drum brakes in the back. Of course, we had discs in the front. Um, tires, there's a whole new round of rubber on this vehicle, and front and back, as are the wheels. Really a great uh, chassis underneath this thing. Um, it just, uh, again, you know, just to recap it, you can see there's absolutely no leaks whatsoever on the entire drive line. New exhaust system. The floors are original, don't need to be replaced, and they are as new as they were in 1969. This is a great Chevelle, um, great undercarriage, a lot of originality to it, a very solid, rust free car. We're going to go for a ride now and see what it runs like, and then you'll have all the ammunition you need to help you in your purchase of the car at Hangsters in Daytona Beach.